Worms getting well-deserved high scores. Back in the early days of video games, the images you saw were always computer-generated graphics. Until CDs came along when everything changed, because CDs have got loads of spare memory just hanging around, waiting to be filled with something interesting. The games companies had a brilliant idea. They filled it with video clips. They were often filmed in the company car park and starred anyone who happened to be hanging around the office at the time. For example, at least some of the cool biker women who feature in the end of level sequences in Road Rash were plucked from behind desks at Electronic Arts to star in the game. Nowadays, the video sequences are a lot more sophisticated, often with big-name professional actors. But video sequences still come in for a lot of criticism from games players because they can mean long, boring stories and nothing much in the way of gameplay. But in America, where they have the world's biggest movie industry, they still believe there's a future for film sequences and games, and they even have room for the odd, enthusiastic amateur actor, as Viola Valin found out when she visited the studios of the Californian games company Sierra. This studio was purpose-built to shoot video sequences for computer games. And today, the team from Sierra are working on Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within. It's very different from the first Gabriel Knight adventure, which was just computer graphics. Now, Gabriel Knight has come to life, played by actor Dean Erickson. So, what's it like taking on the role of a graphic hero? It's nice to be a hero any way I can get it, so uh, it's, uh, <laughs> graphics or otherwise. Gabriel is a shadow hunter, a sort of gothic X-Files special agent, and he's been asked to investigate a series of mysterious murders in a Bavarian village. The police believe the victims were attacked by a pack of wolves, which have escaped from the local zoo. But as you enter the world of the shadow hunters, you quickly realize that things aren't quite what they seem. Some of the video sequences were shot on location and then mixed with graphics. For other sequences, the actors were shot against blue screens in the studio, and then photographs of real locations were used to produce the backdrops. There's no doubt that using video footage makes a difference to how the game looks. If you spend money on actors, sets and costumes, then you can add a level of reality which you don't get with computer-generated graphics. But how does it help the gameplay? Jane Jensen is the creator of Gabriel Knight. She used to be a writer, but now the stories she dreams up are turned into video games. You're really trying to tell a good story. You need to show emotions, and particularly with a mystery, sometimes characters may be lying to you. And it's kind of hard to get that across with a little animated character. So a live actor can show a lot more emotion. So, amuse me, yeah, night. Another big U.S. company, San Francisco-based Rocket Science, are also well known for putting real action into their games. Their latest title, Wing Nuts, is a World War I flying shoot 'em up But does the video slow down the gameplay? In using the video, we knew that was traditionally a problem, and we wanted to keep this game as fast and seamless as possible, just so it was just full of action-packed gameplay the whole way through. Come on, Goomba! You can do it! The graphic game screen runs on top of the filmed flight sequences as you bomb and strafe the enemy planes. <laughs> what the game's producers have learned is if you're going to use film sequences, you have to make sure they look professional. For the Gabriel Knight shoot, they even hired in costumes from Hollywood. Welcome. This costume's from the blockbuster Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. It was actually worn by the bloodsucker himself, and I know that because it says so in the label. And guess who wore this one? Keanu Reeves. Well, by now, I was totally starstruck. So, eat your heart out, Andy and Sonia. Violet hits the big time. OK, I know it's not exactly Princess Leia, but you've got to start somewhere. I've only got a tiny walk-on part, and I don't think my character is going to give you much help solving the puzzle. Excuse me, can you tell me what the way to the red... Oh, I can't act. I can't act. Uh, excuse me, do you know where the residence is? Something so was definitely making me person. nervous. Maybe it was Dean's square jaw and blue eyes. Excuse me, do you have the right time, please? Well, uh, I can make the time for you. Yeah? Uh, don't worry. <sighs> Brits. Yanks. We reckon that's the fourth video game Violet Berlin's been featured in. Perhaps the Guinness Book of Records should start a new category.